Oh, you hit record. Yes, I did. Ah, uh, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I'm very sneaky, sir. <laughs> <laughs> very, very sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Hello and welcome to the Park Stop Podcast. Whoa, I'm awake now. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Alicia Stella. With me as always is my co-host, Ian. Hey, kids. That was loud. <laughs> and today, <laughs> you are deafened by what? my announcer voice. <laughs> Today we are talking about Universal Studios Florida. Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone is officially closing in January. The curse is I wasn't I was gonna say broken, but it's like it's half no, it's half it's, broken. It's not broken. It's the, the curse, same place. I, can you imagine if they just named it like DreamWorks Kid Zone? <laughs> Good night, everybody. We're done. Well, it's DreamWorks Kid Zone. We're done. That's it. Yeah, it's really, I don't, I don't, I can't count it as the curse is broken because there's not going to be any actual real big time construction. I wouldn't count that out because <sighs> they if, this, demolish things? if this isn't, yeah, if this isn't okay. set to open till 2024 and everything is closing January 16th, 2023, that gives them more than a year. And Universal has proved proved time and time again that they can do a lot in a year. They can, but at the same time, it's still just a retheme, right? Mm-hmm. Sort of. Yeah. So. I feel like we're going to lose two play areas and a kitty coaster, and it's going to reopen with two play areas and a kitty coaster, but only the kitty coaster will be rethemed. I'm using air quotes. Yeah, it's that's fine. I don't. I can't count that as the curse is broken until we start getting like Secret Life of Pets or something in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for those of you who are unaware, on November first, um, this was like randomly late in the evening. It's like <laughs> I know. I was trying to go to sleep and it blew up everything we have, including my phone. <laughs> I'm just, well, I can't imagine what your phone was like. It was eight thirty four p.m. <laughs> just randomly. All of a sudden, my phone just started going nuts. I can't even, I really cannot even imagine what your phone was like. Uh, I'm trying to write an article and I just like, I turned off notifications. I see things flicking by on all of my devices. (laughs) And I'm like, I'm just going to try to write this really quick. Grammar be darned at this. Let's get this out. (laughs) I was settling in for my, like, I'm going to go to sleep because I get up at four in the morning and all of a sudden it just went off. And I'm like, oh, I guess I'm staying awake for a little while because this is going to be a lot of fun conversations. I can kind of hear myself, but only maybe because I'm too loud. You're very loud. Okay, that's my fault. I'll turn my headphones down. If you can still hear me. Well, you'll still hear me because I'm screaming. <laughs> um, Stand on your dot. <laughs> <laughs> you won't earn any points if you do not stand on your dot. <laughs> I am Tiny Gru. I am not the full size Gru. <laughs> Welcome to my minion attraction. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, and uh, kids on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so speaking of, uh, yeah. we still haven't got an announcement um, for the Minions Villain Con attraction supposedly opening in early 2023 or by spring 2023 or by summer. Tw- I don't know. Whenever it opens, it opens. Um, mm-hmm. And so at least there'll be something for kids to do while they're rebuilding this kid zone. Uh, But I think that's part of the reason they were probably going to announce these closures so soon is that people with small children are, you know, have to plan accordingly. There's going to be less for them to do, but also because they told team members. And when you tell team members things that um, that knowledge is out there. So I got it's it's rare for them to announce things in advance. But um, closures is one thing they do tend to announce. Sometimes. Sometimes. But the new things, they just don't ever. As far as they're concerned there's sort of a new park going up what's actually in there we have no idea <laughs> they 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 announced shrek was closing they announced t2 was closing they announced uh, dueling dragons is closing they announce things when they're closing they do not announce what replaces them <laughs> churro stands a bunch of churro stands it's all churro stands that, that's churro what was interesting stands. about velocicoaster is it didn't really nothing it replaced was open anyway. It's not like the Triceratops encounter was like kicking. Like they just yeah, had to exactly. announce we're moving the Raptor encounter across the path. That's like, that's all they had to do. So, which is easy enough for them to announce. I, but. what do you think about, um, mm-hmm. Shrek and donkey? Cause this was their new location. They just opened a few months ago. Yes. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe that they would keep the coaster and retheme it to that, but I don't, I think that's going to be trolls now. But like, what do you do 
it for for the next year while they're building I this. Have, does Shrek and Donkey get a second temporary location while their temporary location gets turned into a permanent location? They could. They could just. It's a temporary location, right? So they can't. They just move it somewhere. Well, they built it into the exit gift shop for Barney. Yeah. So but- like. I guess, yeah, you could just build it into the, like, wall of anything. Yeah, it's barely in the land, though, isn't it? Isn't it, like, kind of barely in there? It's not, like, all the way in the back, like, where the trolls were and stuff. Like It's where they need to to do construction, and it's in the way. It's deep enough in there and to the left that they have to put work walls up. It says it's in the list. It's closing. Just put it somewhere over on the other side where they're not touching anything. So let's let's read from the official... um, Announcement from November 1st. I mean, I don't really care where the mean greet is, even though I think Donkey's hilarious, but still. Donkey is the best thing in that park. You watch yourself. Let's not get crazy now. <laughs> it's not that good. Donkey's <laughs> awesome, but let's not get silly. He always he always chats me, with me when I get when I get there early. Well, he used to when I walked by in his old location. He'd always chat. If whenever he was he had had no um no one meet and greeting, he'd be singing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's great. He's great. He's awesome. He's sweet. Um So it says, Universal Orlando Resort will soon begin work on bringing exciting new family entertainment to Universal Studios Florida that will immerse guests in the adventures of beloved animated characters. Well, that's descriptive. I mean, there is a lot of adjectives in there. There are. There are a lot. Exciting. um, New. Family. (laughs) uh, But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. It says entertainment. It doesn't yes, say attractions. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, say, doesn't attractions. say rides, uh, but it does say beloved animated characters. Beloved by who? I mean, it only takes one person to love something exactly. for it to be That's beloved. What I'm saying. <laughs> beloved by who? This reminds me of the T two um, uh, closure announcement because it said uh, a Universal live action franchise, and it was like that's that's it. That's all we get. We get yeah. these, these couple with beloved animated characters. So, 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 what do you think it is? What do you think the the characters we're getting? Because I have some sort of ideas, maybe, but I want to hear well, what you think. I want to keep reading because I want to see what's closing. Oh boy! Okay, so we know reading. what's closing, but anyone listening, everything is closing except for no, ET. No, because technically ET, never ET dies. is in there. Okay, so here's what is closing. ET never dies. To make way for these new additions, Fievel's Playland, Woody Woodpecker's uh-huh. Nuthouse Coaster, Curious George Goes to Town, DreamWorks Destination, and Shrek and Donkey's Meet and Greet will close on January 16th, 2023. <gasps> no. Wait. Yeah, sorry. Yes. I I like it also says parentheses, the last day of operation will be January 15th, because that always becomes the question that the like social media accounts get asked the most. They're like, <laughs> okay, we know it's closing on January 16th, but like, does that mean it's open January 16th yeah, that's and like that's the, the last day? Or it's like that. Do we go on three or do we go right after three? It's <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. You have to define it. Do you it. go on three or do you go <laughs> after three on the next oh. beat? Do you- yeah, so you got to be clear for sure because people so, would get really mad if they show January up January 16th. 15th is your last chance. I when I wrote about this and I did a quick video, uh, a couple of people um, took like didn't like I called DreamWorks Destination a temporary thing, like, mm-hmm. and I got some flack for it. Like, do we all really think that was permanent? It had a vinyl board as the entrance. Exactly. <laughs> it, like at Kinko's super, printing. Super permanent. <laughs> we just ordered some vinyl sticker and stuck it up there. It's fine. It's, it's hung forever. up with uh, uh, zip ties. Like that's, I don't think it's permanent. That's, that's forever. That's forever now. <laughs> That's just how we do it. The most permanent thing they did to that was take down the Barney statue from the Um, fountain. Although Disney kind of did do that with vinyl stickers or permanent lightning light. I'm just saying. No, but yeah, well, this is a. (laughs) As long as you get the as long as you get the air bubbles out, it looks fine. (laughs) But this is uh, 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 those like yard sale signs, like the the yeah um, the the like corrugated. plastic that, yeah. that has the yard stakes in it it's that material um <laughs> so and it's good. zip tied to a, an arch that is obviously permanent i don't know what it's you're talking very about. permanent i mean the shrek and donkey mean great was more permanently put together it, it looked nice there's some duct tape up there then it's definitely never coming down because that's how you fix everything and 
Uh, <laughs> the next paragraph, there's technically three paragraphs. The next paragraph says, The E.T. Adventure, Animal Actors on Location, SpongeBob Store Pants, including meet and greets with SpongeBob SquarePants and friends, Safe. and the, pe- the Kids Zone Pizza Company will remain open for guests to enjoy. Safe. It's all the front half of the area stuff. Wow, E.T.'s not closing. Color me shocked. It, it matches. It lines up with most of the plans that have ever been made to like replace Kids Zone. Yeah. <laughs> Only Nintendo ever was to replace animal actors. Everything else, even Pokemon, was planned to replace the these items, the front, the, the back stuff. Yeah. And I mean, E.T. is still kind of a family ride they can leave open. I mean, I yeah, just... it's family friendly in that kids can ride it. Yes. It's not family friendly in that Magdal will haunt your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, yes, kids yes. technically by height requirement can ride it, but do they want to? No, Magdal alone makes it a f- year-round HHN house, in my opinion, but I still love that ride. All right, hmm. sidebar, let's talk about the new smell at E.T. Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> it's burned into the building's soul. I have said it before, but I'm glad that the smell seems to be functioning better again. Yeah, they, they turned them back on. Um, and it's not the queue. As far as I can tell, it's the ride itself. It's the first half of the E.T. ride. All of the forest scenes have the uh, smell machines turned back on. Um, So like while you're going through the forest and then as soon as you hit like flying over the city, it stops. And then you you can smell the seepage for the next scene uh, where they have (laughs) the smell of a dying planet, which is just burning Rome from Spaceship Earth. (laughs) (laughs) Because, <laughs> hey, whether it's the Library of Alexandria or the Green Planet, uh, sad things burning smells the same. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do need to get a whiff of E.T., we found it at Disney at Magic Kingdom, right? Right. <laughs> yes. Go to the, the, the Christmas, Christmas shop, shop. At, <laughs> at Liberty Square. <laughs> it's very similar. Um, although I will say going now, now that it's been on for a week or two weeks, um, the building the building has adjusted uh well to its new uh <laughs> to it to having the smell turned on again and it's mixing with the existing mildewy Mold. smells in the building and it's starting to like come smell back like, to life it was like really e. again <laughs> it was really strong the first couple days i think it was very christmas tree the first couple days but i think now it's mellowed out a bit you need that mold <laughs> you need the mold smell to make the true et scent i i can't pinpoint when the last time these things were actually running but I don't remember it being this strong since the 90s. Yeah, I was going to say that smell is just like even when we were at HHN and we walked by the back doors, I was I could smell it like 10 feet away. Like I said, it's burned into that building. soul. But, so. but like 50 percent of that still just smells like the the the, the chemical they put in the water. Because when we went to Poseidon's Bromine. Fury, it smelled exactly the same to me. Bromine. Bro, well, is it bromine? Because it does, it does smell different than like Pirates of the Caribbean to me. Mm, I don't think they would use chlorine, do you? No, 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 no. No, bromine is works longer, so I would think they would use bromine. So I don't know. I gotta like, go on ET again and check try to smell the water now. You won't be able to because now it's <laughs> pine tree land. <laughs> <laughs> Earl would be proud. Um but yeah, no, I'm I'm excited that the smell. Some people are upset. They're like, this isn't the ET I remember. And it's like what? that's because you're used to the mildew. Because <laughs> you're like 20 i don't know i'm old i remember the old school et if you remember because there used to be um mist effects on multiple parts during the ride and even i think the waterfall in the queue had a little mister i always feel like there was a mister where you hop to the planet where the lights flash right there because there was it it was very steamy it looks a little too bland the way it is now it's there was literal steam um the condensation from all the steam or misters uh, Mr. 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 <laughs> <laughs> they, they saturated the building so much that it was causing serious mildew problems and it's slippery. Um, oh, right around um, Orbidon. <laughs> Is that his name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he had so much fog around him. You couldn't even see him. Like on a good day, maybe you can catch his eye. Like he's, he was just in a fog world. Yeah, because right it now, was- it's kind of weird how he just chills out like dead and then he just comes to life. That's because E.T.'s healing touch is bringing the planet to life. Don't you see the fiber optics? Then why is Magdal back? She's undead, clearly. (laughs) She's just sleeping. (laughs) Everyone else is coming back to life. (laughs) (laughs) It's the tickly moot moot. (laughs) Um, But yeah, he used to be covered around. Tickly's even scarier. when When they turned off all those fog effects, they also 
cleaned the building, like deep clean, gave it so much of a wipe down because they had to get rid of all the mildew before it becomes mold. Um, and like, I remember that because I remember, wow, it smells so like not moldy in here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I smell bleach with my pine all of a sudden. But it still didn't smell like piney. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, that was like 15 years ago. That's cool. Though. I'm glad the scent's back. It's pretty iconic, which is really weird. It's yeah, it's, and it's not just straight up pine tree. It's like no. notes of of things, but balsam they always make it is a number sweet one. Sweet too, because pine doesn't really smell that sweet, but it always smells a little sweet. Oh, it does not smell. It it still smells musky in there. Trust oh, me. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> but I mean, the pine scent they generally use usually has like a little sweetness to it, which is weird. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm very happy to to have. Anyway, now that we're done with the ET rant, go go check it out and tell me what you think. It's it's pine fresh. Especially oh. as you get halfway through the forest scenes on the ride, it's like oh, crunk of grease. You're really getting deeper and deeper into pine forest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy for that. You gonna talk, crunk? He's hanging out. The only other thing in the official announcement is stay tuned. More details about the new experiences coming to Universal Studios Florida will be revealed in the months ahead. Mm, trolls. For the latest updates about the destination, visit www.universalorlando.com. Are we still doing the W's? Apparently. Trolls. Yeah. That's what it's going to be, right? <sighs> uh, look, I, I've said it so many times that I, when they put up the DreamWorks destination sign, I said, I'm taking this as a sign. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I I put it in one of the videos I think in July was the last time I did it I said I'm taking this as a sign of things to come and I zoomed in on the trolls (laughs) like like I couldn't be any more clear (laughs) Uh, yeah that's gonna be interesting Um, but I feel like it was it could have been a test like throwing in characters like new characters or classic characters or characters that kids like (laughs) or recognize (laughs) in this day and age has really revitalized that area like they're even willing to play in fievel's playland because they walked back there i want i want um i got a selfie with who is it um kitty softpaws from puss in boots yeah no idea but okay (laughs) <laughs> she was declawed. It's very unfortunate, but oh, that made her really sad. good. At, it made her a good like jewel thief, though. But she's it's, missing part of her fingers now. That's weird. Yeah. But she saw. That's why she's Kitty Softpaws. Anyway, um, <laughs> I got a great selfie with her, and there's like tons of kids coming running up, and they like know her name. But I thought I was the only one that knew her name. Um, that's pretty cool. Poor Kitty. Yeah, I think it's DreamWorks that's gonna take over. I right when it happened. I put out a tweet that said um, Illumination or DreamWorks because it says beloved animated characters. And I wanted to see what people thought. Um, And everyone's split. They're like, a lot of people clearly think it's going to be the Secret Life of Pets dark ride. Mm -hmm. But I think that like to get something open in time for 2024, a year before Epic Universe opens in 2025, like it would be easier to just do some play areas and stuff. And if they're going to tear down play areas, you got to put the play areas back. For sure. You put that thing back where it came from. So help me. <laughs> you, 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 this you park, sing it now. <laughs> this, this park needs. Boom, 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 put that thing back. So they need they need the play areas. They need things for for smaller kids to do. Uh, like as it is, they really only have what the uh, the Simpsons spinner ride, uh, the new Minions thing. Hopefully, mm-hmm. um, we'll you have a twirl. Yeah, the hurl and twirl, which isn't the greatest name, but it is kid friendly. <laughs> <laughs> despite it the is. name you know what i really enjoyed is watching everybody kind of blue sky what they thought was going to come and just it it was fun but also i was thinking the whole time I'm like y'all really need to bring down your expectations a little bit but it was really cool to watch people come up with ideas of what they thought was going to go in there i really like that stuff it's fun it's fun to watch some some people like were guessing that they could keep some of the props in Fievel's playland because trolls are the size of a mouse mm-hmm. and you know maybe i don't know Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. Pro- no. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> but that that is a good idea though. Like if you're if you're trying to save money, that's that's a that's a clever that is, way of going. That is a budget friendly solution. Is this like, good enough? Yes, exactly. <laughs> if we're gonna have a, a, a synergistic activation here. <laughs> <laughs> um oh man. It's like here's here's the characters I said back in July that I thought would take over the area. Trolls, mm-hmm. Shrek maybe madagascar and kung fu panda so two of those probably 
three of those. You think three of those? I yeah, I'm just not sure which one they're gonna go with for that for the third thing, because. Yeah. Come on, Kung Fu Panda. I like that better than Madagascar. They have character costumes for all of those. Yeah, yeah, already. for sure. So like there any one of them could be slotted in and they're they're all meeting and greeting over at DreamWorks Destination anyway. So, you know, put it put an actual show or a sing along in the theater, retheme the exterior of the theater. There's a whole bunch of wasted space, by the way, in that theater because there oh, yeah, was yeah. a um indoor playground in there for Barney. And they used the gift shop space for the meet and greet with Donkey, but they still had that whole interior space between the theater and the gift shop. So, um, you know, reclaim that space and use it for something. Turn turn the theater into a real show with those characters. Or lots of lots of good shows and some meet and greet space inside, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah, utilize that as the meet and greet area and, like, turn it into, um, like, fairy tale hall at Fantasyland at magic kingdom yeah, yeah, with yeah. multiple meet and greets um rotating out and different yeah that's actually a really good idea i need to get my calendar hold on <laughs> <laughs> how dare you have good ideas <laughs> um so here's the prevailing theory mm-hmm. five gets completely leveled sorry the water slide go bye-bye <laughs> it's like a secret little ride that no one knows is there that the people know that's there get to i mean i got soaked last time i wrote it and now i hate it but i used to like it <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little slide. It's a um, water slide. What did you, you level think? that? People think it's going to be Shrek for a play area. Yes, hmm. that can and make if, sense. If you're really revitali- revitalizing the area too, you put maybe a meet and greet next to each attraction or each area. So, like, you could go maybe it's Shrek Swamp as a play area with the Shrek and Donkey meet and greet built into the play area. Mm -hmm. So like you get the kinetic energy of the play area surrounding the meet and greet in the middle or something like that could be really cool. That could be very cool. Actually, that could Um, work. Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster becomes a Trolls roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Um, And then the back area. And this is what like different people have different ideas. And I'm wondering if they haven't even decided yet at Universal which one they're going to go with. But maybe Madagascar <laughs> is a play area. Maybe Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. I would rather Kung Fu Panda by a lot. Madagascar is cool and all, but he's cooler. I think Kung Fu Panda could be really cool looking um, because the the way you like right now it's like a town and it has like buildings on the left and buildings on the right and buildings yeah. in the back and it's this like town square. You could really do up um like a whole uh land of awesomeness type with a like so uh cool. Yeah, with the architecture and stuff that way. That'd be so that, cool. It could work. Oh, here it is. Someone suggested that the rainbow catter bus from Trolls mm-hmm. would be the ride vehicle for the Trolls roller coaster. That could happen. Um, and it's like this really colorful caterpillar that they ride in to go places as trolls. And it would be like you just paint each section of the roller coaster different and you give it a face in the front. All right. Is it is it kid zone or is it acid trip area? <laughs> <laughs> if you Isn't look up this cater bus, you will. It is it is oh. very green planet looking. Oh yes. boy. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to the acid area. Thank you. It'd be cool if it played music, too. I love the trolls music. That'd be great. Actually, we kind of have to, right? To make it fully themed, to make it fun. Oh, um, Park Scope Joe said that some of the play areas may be interactive in some way and that that's partly why it's going to take so long. Oh, that's kind of cool, too, then. They have this. They have this. All this time, they can make something into. If they need to sell the little like wristbands that when they go off, you're supposed to dance or hug from trolls, <laughs> <laughs> and it's interactive as in like it, it, when you're in the area, like it, it it sets off everyone's and they all start dancing. That'd be great. Just get some popcorn and wait for that thing to go off and watch everybody go nuts. Well, it's every 15 minutes, so it'll happen quite often. It'd be great. It'd be great. <laughs> Just need popcorn to watch. It's great. I I personally I think they would keep one of the play areas water based like um, Curious George is so like whatever ends up in the back maybe you keep it as a water play area because kids love that yeah kids need to get soaked like the rest of us it's only fair <laughs> especially <laughs> if they take away the water slide yeah for sure yeah and those those areas are nice for the kids anyway to cool off um, the rumor I reported on back in July had mostly these types of ideas. It was Shrek, Trolls. Um, 
maybe Kongs of Panda, maybe Madagascar. But it had the existing play area in the front rethemed, the Woody Coaster rethemed, and then the whole back area turned into a dark ride, which the um, concept that was winning at the time, I think, was uh, Trolls Dark Ride using the exact layout and ride system as Secret Life of Pets. So an Omni Mover, but for trolls, and it would Ooh. be the anchor to this area. Um, and then you still do the dream, like keep the DreamWorks destination, but upgrade it. They need more dark um, rides. I like this idea, even though it's not going to happen right now. So it's possible that this could always be like saved for a phase two. And maybe they don't do too much for the back area. Um, mm-hmm. or like maybe it's a splash pad, but they don't theme it as well as the Shrek area in the front because maybe it'll get replaced later. I don't know. I don't think it would be that ride per se, but maybe one day there could be a ride back there. Yeah, I think they need a dark ride over there anyway. They do have one. It's called E.T. Adventure, and it I takes know, you to the green planet. But we need more planet. dark rides in the park, so <laughs> if I can get one there, I'm going to take one there. Yes. Yes, please. But there is a, a curse on Kid Zone, so, you know, maybe this is the best we can hope for. <laughs> <laughs> for now. Kid Zone is the cockroach that we're for die. another 20 years. And then until these characters are forgotten and we're <laughs> talking about it the same way, I don't think Shrek will ever be forgotten the way that Five will, you know. No, no, not the same poor way. Poor Five. I love Five. I love you. I, I do. But he, he no. seems eternal too. So, hey, whatever. Whether we want him to be or not. But I like that ride. So I'm okay with it staying. So, I mean, yeah, no. E.T. is a classic movie. Mm hmm. I, I've heard people in multiple times. I've heard people in the queue or in the waiting for the pre-show at ET, like mm-hmm. the parents say, now remember, this is why we watch this movie. Like, oh, okay, cool. You pre-game for this. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Then it can't ever go away. Right. Like if, if the only reason families are showing their kids ET is because they know they're going to go on a ride in six months. So be it. I'll take it. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, it's works for me too. Whatever it's a win works. for Spielberg and it's a classic, win for me. a classic film. <laughs> it's a win for me. Can we use an argument for the last Jaws? Oh wait, which Jaws? The last Jaws. The last Jaws ride. And oh, I said, I thought oh, you meant Jaws wait. for the Revenge. No, <laughs> no, like the last Jaws. We're talking no. about saving rides because of the movies, kind of thing. I want to talk about. Oh, you mean in Japan? No, yeah. it's gonna be Zelda. Yeah, that's what I said. I said, oh wait. <laughs> oh man. Oh. So anyway, we could be completely wrong uh, about DreamWorks. I mean, there was a plan 10 years ago for to replace this area with DreamWorks, and it was called DreamWorks Funworks. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, they won't be calling it. That's that. bad. Yeah, because you're usually you're, you're so often wrong about things. Well, that was what it was 10 years ago. I, I want it to be I want them to go simple. I want just DreamWorks land. Yeah, but oh, I, want word. A, I want a dark I want a dark ride though. Yeah, I would like to see some simpler names of things. Please. Things that don't take me an hour to write the name of the thing out in like two lines on a notepad. Please. I, I although I have said DreamWorks destination works better as a like a land or an area than it does for a small like dance party. It does, and it has alliteration. Yeah, yeah. I do I am a fan. DreamWorks destination. Although it feels like it needs Two syllables. And it kind of sounds like Destination D, too. Oh, yeah. Well, they did steal Fantastic World, so. I'm good with that. <laughs> Should have kept that. DreamWorks Land. It's, I can't. I can't. <laughs> it's what I want. I want DreamWorks Land. Dreamland. Dreamland. Dream. Uh, dream. Uh, Kirby's worlds. Dream World. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DreamWorks Dream World. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I can't even imagine. It's going to be so long. <laughs> Welcome to kids on dreamworks land of trolls and trek and whatever friends i mean even now it's woody woodpecker's kid zone i mean you just call it kid zone but it's technically not it's gonna be a longer name than that (laughs) do they do simple names anywhere anymore velocicoaster yeah that's true i was just about to say besides even with jurassic world it's still not bad dreamworks Kid yeah. zone, <laughs> you know that's not. It, I'm starting to come around on that actually. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. That that just proves that half the curse is still in effect. If it, if it, if it's still named Kid Zone but loses yeah. the Woody, as of now, I think it's still the curse. They just kind of repainting things and redecorating things, even if yeah. there's. Yeah, that's still a curse land. That's because Mrs. Bates's soul is still trapped there. <laughs> They tore down her, her, her. She had to watch her motel get tore down first. And they then two the years later. Stones, but they didn't move the bodies. Two years later, they came for her house. 
she was up there watching Fievel, kids playing in the Fievel playland before they built Barney. Oh, you moved the headstones, but you didn't move the bodies. Okay, what else we got going on? Um, is there anything bigger than kid zone closing? Really? After all, all the years of I've gone and taken pictures for posterity of this land every year for six years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Is there, any, is there anything else going on that you know about or you have guesses about? Well, I don't know when this episode will come out. This is a quick emergency episode. I meant to open with that. This is an emergency session of the of the Park Stop podcast. <laughs> um, and, and, and it is not part of our regularly sch- scheduled programming. We have IAPA coming up. Um, the holidays Ayapa. are about to kick Ayapa. into Ayapa. high gear. Um, I'm waiting for Earl the Squirrel season to begin, although I've already purchased Ooh. the Earl plush. Christmas bar. Uh, yeah, the Green and Red Coconut Club. Yes, please. Hopefully we'll be opening in a week or so. And I cannot wait. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait either. <laughs> I, like, I love that place. I hope It's still Tiki, I hope, right? And then Monsters. Well, there was I, a I Hawaiian lay around. Christmas. I think it's still Tiki. I don't know about Monsters, but maybe by the time this comes out, we'll have more info. Maybe it'll be like Earl tormenting the Monsters in a Tiki bar. That's not too much at all. And, you know, we talked about Hello Kitty on our last episode. Hello Kitty is not going anywhere um, they just rethemed one of the walls that connects to the other side of the store. That's all. Oh, still seems to be shrinking in merch, but whatever. That's fine. Yeah, but that really... happened like two years ago. Just no one noticed. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> so they just took down the theming from the wall that, that has always separated for, for years now, the lounge fly section. Yeah, no offense to any Hello Kitty fans, but for me, I don't, I don't really care. Oh! <gasps> I Sorry, liked it better I had something as, uh, in my throat. <laughs> I thought it was cooler as Lucy because they uh, well, people okay. don't understand how iconic that show was, though, and what it did to change sitcoms. I, and TV. I did love the museum stuff. Yeah, it's so cool. Also, <laughs> down that street, I mean, the Brown Derbies, like they keep ripping off more and more chocolate <laughs> layers. Um, so we're, we're still oh. keeping an eye on that. I, I hope it's, <laughs> I hope it's going to be okay. <laughs> um, but no, the the. Um, the former prop shop yep. and the photo store next to it. Mm-hmm. And I worry now, like they're connecting those two together. They already knocked down the wall. And I worry for the future of the annual pass holder lounge there in the Hollywood section of Universal Studios Florida, because that's next in line and they might connect to that too. Yes, please. I'm okay with that. Um, there was rumors that, I don't know what happened with it. Um, the Betty Boop store over in Toon Lagoon, I think. Mm-hmm. Might become a pass holder lounge. Did that's I hear fine. that right? That could that would make sense. I mean, that's right near where you get your stuff anyway, right? Over on that side. Yeah, they've been giving away buttons at the store across the street there. So yeah, um, if that's the case, maybe it's like okay, we've we've because this has already been extended year after year. It yeah, was only yeah. supposed to last a few months or whatever. Um, so maybe now the pass holder lounge has had its time here and it goes over there. The idea would be that this whole strip of buildings. Um, could be used for the tribute store in the future so that eventually the former tribute store location in New York can be turned into the preview center for Epic Universe. Which would be amazing. And where the IOA preview center was, just with a different entr- entrance location. Yes, please. So Yes, please. Give me the preview center. I had heard that wasn't going to happen until like after Halloween Horror Nights next year. But maybe if <sighs> they need more time to set that up... Or I don't know, maybe maybe that maybe not the holiday tribute store, but maybe in one of the future tribute stores coming up in the uh, next year, uh, it might move to Hollywood. So we'll keep an eye on that. That'd be cool. Actually, that'd be a cooler area for it, too, a little bit, I think, because it's a strip of all the stores and everything. I like that. I'm, I'm into that. I mean, I really like Christmas um tribute store being right where the tree is and in front of macy's yeah Uh, i'm sure macy's isn't too happy about their facade always being covered up for christmas yeah some like holiday earl thing (laughs) so yeah i i think it's still fine though my dogs are loving these bones today what the heck i am i'm looking forward to we don't have any information for the tribute store yet when we're recording this but i'm looking forward to um north of the border is what it says on the <laughs> billboard. So good. Earl's so north good. of the border. And it's That's like so good. And now now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, what could what I wonder what the facade's gonna be for the tribute store? And I'm like, let it be Earl. I want Earl to get the first room this time. It'd and I'm kinda... like, I want to enter Earl's mouth like Gatorland. <laughs> Can we get oh, this? I was, I was just gonna say it. Maybe they're making maybe they're making like a satirical play on the south of the border thing in the Carolinas. But well, Christmas... there's definitely south of the border. 
Yeah, well, I'm it's saying but that's, the same. Spe- that's the same font kind of thing or something. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, it looks like I haven't the same seen font. It yet. Oh, that's even better. I'm so excited for that. Now. Like, I, <laughs> this amazing. is his third business now at the tribute store because the first one was Earl's Tree Farm. And last year was the Museum of Curiosities. Um, and they're always roadside attractions, but this time is Earl's North of the Border. And I love it. What's great is that they love keep it. the motif of the other businesses going. So in universe, these these other business still businesses still exist also. Like yeah, there's he just keeps ex- for those. He's, he's just expanding, expanding his empire. <laughs> <laughs> his empire is growing. I need more empire. He's a little tyrant capitalist squirrel. <laughs> there's things crossed <laughs> off on the billboard. Like the billboard says food you can eat instead of all you can eat food. It just says food you can eat. <laughs> Open air shopping, holiday fun. Uh, finally, air conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> see the world's largest acorn and then it has two things that are crossed off and one of them is running water crossed off <laughs> <laughs> can't wait for this store oh, remember when oh. south of the border had working rides yeah I, that is so, i used to drive from connecticut down here all the time with my yeah, family so that was such too. an iconic like oh we're like halfway <laughs> Exactly. You get out and do some stuff and it's like there was less and less things to do as it went on. <laughs> and it was like at the, at the end of it, it was just a gift shop. And it reminds me of um, uh, Hester and Chester's <laughs> Dino-Rama because they That's literally so they had a non-working roller coaster there for months. So <laughs> it felt, accurate. It felt like being like at South of the Border where it's mostly oh, just a gift shop. So good. <laughs> They did have the best billboards, though, on the highway. Like, cars stuck to a billboard and stuff is just ridiculous. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Earl's north of the border. Looking forward to that. I want, I'm want. i hoping the gingerbread wait. cookie is back. Looking forward to the green and red coconut clubs. Uh, the, mm, I, I, bar. I, I know we're supposed to love Halloween Horror Nights, but I don't know. There's something about I the can, holidays at Universal I just love so much. I can love both and not have to pick one or the other. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can't oh. stop me. Oh my god, the the Earl plush is Earl's so just... ugly. I love it. It's so cute. It's so ugly. It's cute. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, but they're doing so good with him and like the character and stuff. Like just in general, it's awesome. Yeah, I bought the generic squirrel plush last year, but I am excited for this year to have like an actual, an actual Earl, Earl plush. <laughs> yes, and they priced him too low. So hurry up and get out there before they raise that price. Hey, don't give them any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> They'll figure it out eventually when these start flying off the shelves. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah. kids own. Still cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Still cursed. As my dogs uh, chew all the bones in the house all at the same time. It's great. And, you know, I, I do want to end by saying we could be completely wrong and it could be um, more minions. You already said that. You already said we could be, could be no, completely wrong. No, but I did wrong. say it would oh, be more minions. <laughs> why would you do that? You know this podcast has like an air about it. And making things come true. Don't 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 curse us like that. Remember to stay on your dot or I'll expand it to kids zone. <laughs> <laughs> the curse is real. Oh. All right. I think that's it. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Help me.